Assalamu alaikum. This is our Tripoli 304 Digital Electronics Lab project. And our project is 4 digit password based security system for luggage using digital logic games. Our group number is 04. Our project is based on mainly two parts password checking part and protection part. First, the input is applied to some NOT gates, and the output of the NOT gates is actually uh, fit an encoder and that encoder actually the output of that encoder actually goes through some gates and make a positive pulse the output of that encoder also goes to another set of demultiplexers and that demultiplexer selects where to save that input password either it is to save that password to saved password or to input password and then the password is saved by the positive ages generated by the other demultiplexer saves and it is saved to, uh, to that flip flops and the output of that flip flops are fed to the comparator set and the output of the comparator sets indicate if the out, uh, password is right or wrong. The next part of that project is the protection. The protection part uh, here, if someone tries to open the luggage forcefully or if someone gives the wrong password consecutive for some several times, then a buzzer will be on. So this is our project simulation file. First we have to define some points here. Here we have 10 switches. Those are from 0 to 9. These switches are used to input or enter the password. Uh, this re uh, represents the digits of the password actually. Uh, this port actually indicates either the two passwords are same, I mean the input password is either right or wrong. There is another output port. This output port is actually used when we want to actually save the password. And here is another output port which is actually high when the protection part will activate the buzzer. Now, first we have to uh, set a password here, and that password is, uh, for example, say 9876. To set a password, we will have to push this switch. Uh, see, the output port here is high now. And now we can access the set password here and we will uh, set a password in here. As this output port is 1, we can start entering the password. So now we will start entering 9876. 9876. Here 9876 is saved. Now the input, uh, sorry. Uh, the comparator password set uh, 0 is set here, 0, 0, 0, 0. and now we will push this switch and this port will go low now we will put three wrong passwords in a row and consecutive wrong three passwords will give a high output here and this high output actually uh, activate the buzzer in the hardware uh, part uh, we have not shown that hard buzzer in this simulation file uh, So now, let's start entering some wrong passwords. For example, start with 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. There it is 0. This means the password is wrong. And now, for example, say we will input password 9999. Say this output is 1, so we can enter the password and this will be a whole new password that will be saved here. So 9999999. This output is still 0, that means the password is still wrong. Here it is 1, so we can input a new password here. So now let's input 8888. Look, this output port here is now high. Uh, 
as I have already said, this output port will actually activate the buzzer in the hardware implementation. Uh, though we have avoided that buzzer part in the simulation file. Now, we will input the right password. That is 9876. 9876. So this output here is 1. The, this indicates the password is right. So now, if we want to change this set password, we will have to end we will have to push this switch as this output is high we can access now to this set password this output is 1 so we can enter the password now for example say the new password will be 1234 1 2 3 4 4 now push the switch and now the system is ready to enter a password now let's input a wrong password first that is 7777 7777 now if someone tries to change this set password entering a wrong password here he will not be able to do that for example let's push this switch and pushing this switch will not make a high output here now if we enter a password it will be saved here not here that is for example say if we want to save 9999 here instead of saving here it will be saved here so if someone tries to access this set password entering a wrong password here he will not be able to do that আমাদের পাসওয়ার্ডটা চেঞ্জ করব তো এখান থেকে এখানে না আগে এখানে আমার পাসওয়ার্ডটা সেভ হবে সেটার জন্য আমাদের সেভ অপারেশন হচ্ছে লাস্টের দুইটা এলইডি যখন জ্বলবে তখন এটা চেঞ্জ করা ভিতরের গুলা জল অবস্থা চেঞ্জ করা ঠিক না এখানে যে কোনো একটা পাসওয়ার্ড মুছে যেতে পারে তো যে আমাদের লাস্টের আগেরটা জ্বলতেছে তো এখন আমরা এটা চেঞ্জ করতে পারি ওকে এখন আমরা ইনপুট দিলে সেটা এখানে সেভ হবে তো যেটা করব যখন প্রথম এল ইডি জ্বলবে তখন আমার পাসওয়ার্ড দেওয়া শুরু হবে প্রথম এল ইডি জ্বলার পর পাসওয়ার্ড দিতে পারবো এখন ফার্স্ট এল ইডি জ্বলতেছে এখন আমার এখানে ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফোর আসে আমি এখানে ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফোর দিলে এই লাইফটা জ্বলবে তো আমরা যেটা করবো ফার্স্টে একটা ভুল পাসওয়ার্ড দিই সেটা হচ্ছে ওয়ান 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 তো ওয়ান 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 যেটা করবো আমরা ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফোর নিয়ে কাজ করতে পারি ওয়ান টু থ্রি ফোর here we have a switch uh, when the switch is on sorry the switch is off the LED is off and when the switch is on the LED is on this signal actually indicates the password either it is right or wrong when the LED is on the password is right when the LED is wrong the password is wrong Point to be noted that we are not comparing the two passwords that is the input password and the saved password we are just creating a typical signal that will indicate either the password is right or wrong and here is also another switch which tells the system to compare the two passwords that is if we just push the switch the uh, total system will count how many times we have entered the wrong password for example now we just push the switches and the, now the output uh, sorry the input that indicates the password is either right or wrong this means the password is now wrong and now if we just push this switch here we can see this LED is on that means uh, here this three LED this uh, on the left side are the out of this counter circuit and we have entered the wrong password once so that's why this LED is on if we just push this switch 
once again then the output is 2 the output is in binary number if we just uh, push this switch once again and this is 3 4 5 6 7 now if we push the switch once again that is if we enter the wrong password 8 times at a row the buzzer will create a sound that is the, uh, after 8 consecutive wrong input of passwords the buzzer will sound now if we just input the right password then it will erase the output of the counter that is now the out output of the counter is zero now here is a wire that is connected to VCC if we just disconnect this wire when the password is wrong the buzzer will sound now if the password is right and we disconnect this wire there will be no sound now this LED is off so the password is now wrong and if we enter this wrong password by pushing this switch once twice thrice for say five times now after five times if we in, uh, input the right password uh, uh, for this case if we just push this switch we can see the output of the counter now goes to zero that is the one in uh, right input password will erase the uh, output or memory of the counter